I'm Susan. Welcome to Plateau Art Studio Art for Kids. I have another fresh month of projects. Let's see what we're going to work on today. Hi, well welcome back to part two of Claude Monet's sailboats. So your background should be dry, your uh, boats should be dry. It might take however long it took, I don't know, if you live somewhere where it's um, really warm, it <laughs> take about 15-20 minutes for everything to dry. And if it's cold and rainy, like I'm in Seattle, well, it could take a whole hour for something to dry. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna set these, my boats aside. I'm just gonna set those over here. And I'm gonna bring back a little project that I was working on. And this is all dry now. And so what I'm gonna do is um, talk about reflection. So in the with the sunset, I'm just going to put some highlights of the yellow and white and maybe a little bit of warm colors you decide, but this is how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use my yellow and I'm going to oops, there we go, put some little highlights in on the reflection. This is reflection of the sunset. Okay, so I'm just kind of just watch when I do that, just the reflections on the water. Usually the reflection, the closer you get, the smaller the reflection, so you can go kind of wide here and then come in more narrow. So I'm going to use some white in there as well with my yellow. There we go. All right. You can put as little or as many in as you want. And maybe I'm going to go over the horizon line just a little bit. You want some colors of the rainbow? Go ahead, put just you know, I, I put a little bit of white and red together so it shows up really well. I'll just put a few. Okay, all right. Well, you can work on that if you want more. I think I'm done. All right, so the next step after you have your reflection down is we're going to glue our sailboats. So now our sailboats, the reason they're different sizes, it's going to create um, an art term called depth. So depth is something that this one is the largest, so it appears more forward. This one is medium, so it's obviously behind this boat a little bit. And this little tiny one is probably really far away. Maybe it's just as big as this one, but we're viewing it far away. So that's it called depth. And that's what we're going to create on ours. So I'm going to start with my big boat. And I'm going to be really careful just because I have my reflection down here that's still wet. And I'm going to put it off right, maybe right here. And that little pointy side is the front of my boat. It's just we're going to paint white water around it. I'll show you how to do that. So put the glue on the back and when you glue these it's okay that it's going over my reflection because my boat is in the front of that reflection there. And be careful with your glue, you don't get too much glue. And this sail is not supposed to line up at the bottom here, it actually goes this way. So it's like if you had a pole that went straight up, 
and it was tied at the top and the bottom. That's kind of how that works. So I know this because I have done a lot of sailing. So I thought it'd be fun to have something that looked like a real sail. Well, there's that one. Okay, now my medium boat. on the side over here. That one. And then my triangle. And hopefully you did a good job painting the right, correct sides of your sails. If you didn't, you turn it over and paint the other side. That's the way I look at that. Boat. Okay, and then my little tiny one that's going to appear way in the back. take my white paint and a small brush okay. and we'll add our highlights water detail so I'm going to take a little bit of white here and I'm going to go right here over the edge that pointed edge here and this you can kind of paint up a curve kind of follow that and that's like the boat is going this way so the water is being splashed up on that boat right there so I'm going to do that on all of them there we go and you can put a little bit behind here if you want a little white trail behind the boat and you decide which way this one's going. There we go. All right. So there's our little white for our splash of the water coming up on the boat. And now what else are we missing? I don't think I have enough glue on those. <laughs> We're missing the little sails. So um, let's see. I'll put a little red little red flag here from this one that's in the wind and what other color let's see I think I'm gonna do a white one here there's a white one these are the little flags sometimes on top of the sail this one I'll make um, what color should I do that one I think I'll do it blue to show up well. There we go. So I have my little flags and I'm all done. So there we go. If you want to put some, you want anything else on there, you could do some white up here, some kind of clouds. I'm going to use kind of a thin you can put a lot of paint whatever you like I might add a little water and just kind of make it really light kind of light puffy clouds <laughs> there might be some clouds left if there's a rainbow I don't know and those are really light Hopefully you can see that because it's pretty light. Anyway, all right, so that creates a little something else going on up in the sky. So there you have it. There's Claude Monet's sailboats. I hope you enjoyed this project and I know I love this. So I've got another project coming up. So everybody have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.
Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the projects. I'll see you next week. I look forward to it. Bye-bye.